questions. The first question is, an RL integrator and an RC differentiator can act as what types of filters respectively? Option A, low pass, low pass. Option B, low pass, high pass. Option C, high pass, high pass. Option D, high pass, low pass. The second question is, a half cycle average voltage of 12 volt is equal to 2 watt RMS voltage. Option A, 13.33 volt. Option B, 8.48 volt. Option C, 18.84 volt. Option D, 7.64 volt. Mark among the answers are common box. Let's comment on it and stay positive, work hard and make it happen. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today we have discussed about infinitely long coaxial transmission line. It is one of the application of Ampere circuital law. It consists of two concentric cylinders having their axis along the Z axis. So this is the figure of cable with a solid inner conductor of radius A carries current I and the outer annular of inner radius B and outer radius C carries current minus I. First, we have to calculate the value for field intensity within the solid inner conductor of radius A. So, first case, find out H at 0 less than or equal to R less than or equal to A. According to Ampere's law, the magnetic field around a closed path is equal to the current enclosed. So write this equation, closed line integral of h dot dl is equal to i. Then current value is equal to surface integral of j dot ds. Here j means current density at a specific region ds. Generally, we have to write this equation j is equal to i divided by a. a means area of the circular conductor of the radius a. So, is equal to i divided by pi a square. So, instead of r, you have to use the inner radius A. Then integral of ds is equal to surface area for a conductor of the radius R. So pi R square is the value. Then integral of dl is relevant to circumference area for the conductor of the radius r. So, is equal to 2 pi r. So, integral of ds is equal to surface area of the circular conductor of radius r. Integral of dl is equal to circumference area for a same circular conductor of the radius r. Both the Values is substituted in this above equation. So, H 2 pi R is equal to I divided by pi A square then pi R square. From this equation, we have easily calculated this value for magnetic field intensity H is equal to 
pi r divided by 2 pi a square. The unit is ampere per meter. Then second case, the field intensity in between inner and outer conductor of the radius from A to B. A to B. So H at A less than or equal to or less than or equal to B. We use the same ambient circuit law equation. The closed line integral of H dot DL is equal to the net direct current I. Here the integral of DL value is equal to circumference area of the circular conductor. That is equal to 2 pi R. So H 2 pi R. H is the constant term. So taken outside of the integral. So H into 2 pi r, integral of dl is equal to 2 pi r, is equal to i. From this equation, the h value becomes i divided by 2 pi r. The unit is ampere per meter. The next third case, the field intensity in the annular outer conductor, the radius from B to C. So, C, the case H at B less than or less than C. By using the ampere circuit law, the closed line integral of H dot DL is equal to I plus we have to add this double integral of DR and D pi because we have analyzed the coaxial cable for that reason we have used the differential part of the coaxial cable line is d r and d pi. So, the double integral b2 or then 0 to pi, 2 pi. Because the first condition, the lower limit is b, the upper limit is r. So, we have used the lower limit of inner integral is B upper limit of inner integral is R. Then the outer integral limits from 0 to 2 pi. 2 pi is the overall angle for the circular conductor. Then minus i divided by pi of c square minus b square into ds. So this is the basic equation for calculating magnetic field intensity for the radius from B to C. B to C. Here the DS value is equal to R D pi into DR. Because For analyzing the coaxial cable line, the differential elements are dr and r into d pi. So multiplying both the values, dr or d pi, we get this result of differential surface element ds. We don't consider this value for E set because coaxial cable line we have considered this value for radius of the conductor and phase angle for that conductor. Not considering this 
height so the ds is replaced by r dr and d pi the next integrating with respect to r these terms are constant so taken outside of the integral so i this negative sign is taken into outside so minus i divided by pi of c square minus b square integral of 0 to 2 pi d pi the next here integral of r dr so the result is r square divided by 2 the limit is b to r then write this equation line integral of h dot dl is equal to i minus a of r square minus b square divided by 2 pi of c square minus b square then by integrating this d pi value we get this result pi then after substituting this value for limits of integral we get this result 2 pi so pi of 0 to 2 pi the next we get this i minus i of r square minus b square divided by c square minus b square here 2 pi minus 0 numerator having one 2 pi value and denominator having one 2 pi value so 2 pi 2 pi cancelled so finally we got this result but the closed line integral of h dot dl is equal to h then 2 pi r because the integral of dl is equal to circumference area of the circular conductor so the equation is equalized h 2 pi r is equal to this equation so i is common Only taken in the outside, so one minus of r square minus b square divided by c square minus b square. Then h value is equal to i. divided by 2 pi r 1 minus r square minus b square divided by 
c square minus b square. So this is the equation for magnetic field intensity for the radius of the annular conductor or outer conductor from B to C. This negative sign is right center. Okay. Then next case, to find out field intensity outside the cable. So the condition is H at or greater than or equal to C. So the H value is equal to already we know this value for magnetic field intensity of the radius from B to C. So, what is the equation? So, this is the equation. I divided by 2 pi R 1 minus R square minus B square divided by C square minus B square. So, in this equation, we have substituted the condition or equal to C. Or equal to C. So what is the result? I divided by 2 pi R. So in the numerator. R is equal to C means. C square minus B square. The denominator is also having C square minus B square. So cancelled. The result will be is equal to 1. So 1 minus 1. The Final result is equal to 0. So 1 minus 1, the final result is equal to 0. So outside of the cable, the magnetic field intensity is 0. Since no current is enclosed. So how will you write this expression? The closed line integral of H dot dl is equal to 0. Thank you.